What is going on? What's up? <clears throat> Damn, there we go again. I gotta stop scraping my throat. It's ridiculous. Also, I recall. Uh, I, I remember having some weapons. Oh, there we go. Got an Uzi. That's nice. <clears throat> oh, man. I need to drink. You know, when you're playing GTA 3, you'll find out soon enough you gotta stay hydrated. Because you're gonna sweat your ass off. Because all these missions are so damn stressful. Um, not to me so much. But to, to the more casual players who, who you know, can't really handle uh, the way the game is. Um, <clears throat> anyway, we're moving on. And, uh, oh, I forgot to hunt for that. Just go ahead. Oh, they're hunk. Oh, they're hunking for me. That's okay. Um, bunk. Joey, Joey, I'm here. Mike Lips, last lunch. In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferelli brothers have owed me money for too long, and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so to steal his car and take it to Eight Balls Bomb Shop up in Harlem. You think I remember? You know, I, you Ball, know. Right? Once you spitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, you won't be in forever. Yo, I, I legit think I recognize this guy's voice. And, funny, funny thing is, remember we got Joey from Friends, right? And this guy is actually also a guy who plays in Friends. He, he's, he's done several movies as well, but he's played a part in Friends, I think. I don't know his name, but at some point, uh, he was, if, if you're familiar with Friends, he was dating Phoebe, I think, and he was a cop. Oh my, this thing handles like tr shit. I legit think that's his voice. I think it's his voice. Yeah, I think so. Wow, that's, that's pretty funny. That's interesting. Okay, so, you know, the franchises haven't expanded so much. Uh, it's still just Friends, Super Mario, and Pokemon. Uh, but, uh, you know, who knows? We, we might find some. Alright, let's go. They're trashing the vehicle. Get it? Oh no! All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get the bomb first, and then we'll get it repaired. Who cares if it's thrashed? You're gonna you're gonna blow it up. Oh my God! This is just retarded. The the, the rain makes it impossible to steer. Unbelievable! Holy shit! I'm not even kidding. This thing handles like trash, combined with the rain. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's just have it pour all day. Sure, whatever. Yo, 8-Ball, fix this car up for me, will ya? We will do bombs. Prick. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna get it fixed up, that's fine. My goodness. Drive much? Why does this, this thing handle so shitty? I'm taking a tight... This is a tight turn. Unreal. It's as tight as I can get. I guess I drifted a little bit. Anyway, last uh, last episode we did some missions. Uh, I mentioned me losing out on some um, some uh, some audio and thus having to start over. Uh, uh, amongst those missions that I already did was this one. Uh, mind you, I didn't mess up with the uh, with the damage then, uh, damaging the car. It's nice. Get a little detour going. Yeah. See, uh, see, uh, see the city in all, in all its splendor and beauty. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm already thinking about going to uh, play by city. Uh, I'm not. I don't know the structure of the game. The game, the way the game functions, isn't really interesting to me at the moment. I don't know. There's just. Damn, I can't steer this thing. The, the problem is, the problem that I'm experiencing is, is it's too much of a driving simulator, which makes sense, you know. Uh, one and two were basically the same. The, the missions weren't that creative, I guess. But, I don't know. I'm kind of missing the whole 
I can't steer this thing. Shit. I'm kind of missing something. And um, that something I feel, I believe, is the story element, the overarching story element, which by city, uh, you know, by city and definitely San Andreas, both really do have. You know, you're interested. Who parked their car like that? What the heck? They're interesting to play. Uh, and, uh. Oh, wait, no, I activated the car. Which one was that again? There we go. Mom. My husband will kill you! Anyway, um, kind of miss a story element. You're just pretty much an errand boy in this one, I think. Uh, stuff's still bound to happen. Sure, sure, this is true. But, uh. You never really get to know who Claude really is, for instance, you know, what he's all about. Yeah, shit passed. So, let me just... Let me just think about this one. We just killed a guy. We had to... We had to get... We had to get a bomb inside a car, which would have cost us, well, would have cost Joey, I guess, uh, which is fine. Joey was saying that this guy owed him money, so what does he do? He spends a lot of money to kill him. And not only that, afterwards he pays up around 10k because I killed him. So, guy owes you money, so you spent way more money to get him whacked. That's how... That's how committed Joey is, and, and that's something that you actually see, that that commitment, the pure passion in what he does, um, that's that's something you see more of in Friends um, uh, during his acting career. You, you just see he's committed to all this kind of stuff, and I like how they put that in this game as well. Uh, so it, be, it teaches us something about who Joey the person is. Yeah, so I like that. I still like the cross franchise uh, I stuff hired they're doing here. To break into my apartment and steal some stuff so I could claim on the insurance as you do. As you do. Deceiving bastards are threatening to tell the insurance company if I don't give them a cut. Mm. Can you believe it? I left the car inside the factory gates. Use it to go pick them up from their turf in the red light district. Then bring them back to the factory so I can make them see Marty's point of view. Yeah, okay. Well, you know. Another another one of those interesting things, uh, you know, he's sending me out in his car uh, to pick up people that he owes money to. He pays me to do this, of course. He pays for cars. This is not a bad car. This is a good-looking car. Look at this. It's like a like an old BMW almost. So we get in this beautiful car. Get you fine. And we're probably going to have to get rid of, rid of the car, which, you know, these are all things that, is, that, that are costing him money. They're throwing money at money problems, which it doesn't seem like the, the soundest investment. These guys owe me money, so I'm going to pay you money to kill them, so I no longer owe money. Yet here we are, still spending money. Oh. It's fine. Maybe I'm not. Uh, maybe I'm just not not one of those uh, underworld types. Right? Maybe I just don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just an idiot. Maybe perhaps I should shut up uh, about this. Oh goodness. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Here we go. We go here. We go here. Open up. We. Hey, enjoy guys. Man, this guy is just turning everyone to dog food. It's amazing. Amazing. Easy there, partner. Whoa, put it down. Come on, put it down. Damn. Get the garbage bay together and then here this. That's not how that works at all. That's not okay, well. Let's go. Let's go get every spray, man. I don't like this call anymore. Looks like murder. Okay. Oh, hold on. 
dare I? Dare I? Dare I? I know. I was gonna do the stunt jump, and I thought to myself, well, you're gonna mess that up, and then you have to start it. So let's not do it. Another day, perhaps. I was thinking about playing some other games as well from my past. Uh, there's one in particular that I'm thinking about. Uh, lots of videos about those online already, but you know, um, it's not really about the views for me, I guess. Whoa, that's a shiny fucking color, isn't it? Oh my, what is that? Almost like gold or something like that. Holy, they did well on this one. It's very, very macho y, very cool. Yeah, it's very good. Let's get rid of the evidence. Let's spray paint my car in pure gold. Good stuff. What the heck was that? Anyway, um, yeah, uh, this, this game I was, uh, I was intent on playing uh, is called Vampires, The Masquerade, Bloodlines. Some of you might know it, some of you may not. It's an all those balls game. <coughs> um, it's pretty cool, you know. It's fantasy stuff. Uh, but uh, it's, it's something that I enjoy a lot. And, uh, Keep your eyes on the road. Okay, okay. Let's get it. Mission passed, and I know for a fact, yes, package here. Um, no, it's something that I did in the past, and I enjoyed it, and I, I, I might play it for you guys, you know, you guys might enjoy me struggling with that game, um, and uh, if not, you know, let me know, I'll ignore your, your, your opinion on that one, but you know, you can let me know, that's that's all fine and dandy, as far as I'm concerned, let's do another mission. There. Farewell, Chunky Lee Chong. Okay, okay. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Okay, now that I know who who uh, who did the voiceover, or at least I now that I think I know who did the voiceover, I can't I can't take Joey seriously anymore. Uh, looking at him, I just see the guy's face. Right, I see the guy's face. Now. It's weird. Um, I got weapons. Uh, this is a, a bit of a tricky mission. Uh, to be fair, because the most overpowered weapon in the game you cannot use. That's why. That, that's you cannot use, that's right, here we go, we're back on track, the car. You can't, see, it's blocked off, so. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, package. Oh, nice. That's nice. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Wee. Let's get weapons out. This is a tricky one. I'll, I'll, I'll say, what I generally do is I, uh, what I generally do, I did this once. The bunch of guys over there, they'll come and attack you if you get too close, which we have to because the guy's inside the stand. I don't have a sniper rifle, so I can't ping him from anywhere. Can't bring a car. As soon as you get too close, cutscene starts, well, you'll see. He'll start running, and that's basically, uh, I'm going to try and run after him while dodging some bats and bullets. Shoot him in the back, run off. since some asshole parked this car here uh, we can just move on there we go easy 10k uh, they're throwing money around in this game this is crazy but that's good good for us right I'm not sure what we use the money for actually. I don't know I don't know must be something I'm sure what's down here nothing really okay um, no 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 that's not true I remember let me it's the next one actually, it's not this one. There's a stunt jump ramp. I'm not sure if you have to take them for anything, like completionism. I don't know. But there is a package here if we keep driving on the right side. There we go. And, interestingly enough, although not super impressive, there's a gun up there. 
and you could okay and get up no 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 but a decent player could get up there by oh my fucking god are you kidding me there okay fine jeez the decent player can get up there by um oh, oops let me mess that up didn't know by going over here and then uh, pick that up there we go we got a gun random gun Donk. off we go um, we're pretty close to 10 packages by the way which is also something I have to look out for because 10 packages gives us access to the pistol um, for free from our warehouse and that's someone we want to something we want to look out for I think yeah, there are a couple of weapons that I'll really like to have. I'd really like to have at my disposal there, but um, well, what can I say? Let's get a car. Let's move on to the next I'm mission. But uh, I think the handgun, shotgun, and Uzi—they're th pretty like like solid cookie cutter weapons. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can do most missions with those. There are a couple of speed bumps that are just gonna say, "Well, you can do most missions with your fists if you're good enough." Those speedrunners are crazy, right? The stuff they do, it's, it's insane. Alright, we're gonna hit the payroll van. Oh it no, leaves I the edge of Chinatown I every remember. day. Oh, shit. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now I won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. This, this this is a tricky one. I remember struggling because, um, yeah, well, you'll see. You'll see. I'm, I'm pretty sure you just... There's a red light, dude. These guys are intense. Who does that? Who goes around driving through red lights? It's crazy. See, I always wait till it's green. Green means go. Which means go ahead and stop. This is really messy. I've got issues seeing through this mess. Let's let me let me just up the, the brightness of my screen. It's kind of like cheating, you know, when you up the gamma in a, in a scary game. Yeah, that's what I just did. Oh, okay, so this is this is the van. You gotta ram it, which is fine. But then you'll find soon. Boom! The cops. The cops. They want a piece of the action. And oh my goodness. Also, you'll be going in and out of cars because this van can take a beating. It can take a bigger beating than you can. It looks like we're losing the star mode. Oh, it's no use. It's no use driving actually with this car. We need, uh, well, something like this. Let's go. What's this guy going to? <laughs> okay, that's fine. He, w <laughs> he worked hard for it. That's fine. Let's take a cab. Here we go. Don't worry, I'll bring it back. Alright, so if cops are on you at some point. They just don't like you messing around with the money back. Which, which I get it. You know, I get it. I understand. It's not something you're supposed to do. Uh, but, you can't do this one. This is the trick. It's too heavy. Oh, you could hear that. Can I drive him into something? Oh yes, here we go. I need him to. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, now it's getting tricky because these guys are relentless. 62 years old. And, uh, um, uh, what? Okay, well, that's, that's interesting. Uh, so here we have a nice little tutorial about uh, what happens when you get busted due to some weird fucking sequence. Okay, okay. 
Well, that's GTA 3. I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll do it over. Uh, but that, of course, was... That was bullshit. <laughs> that was bullshit. Oh, man, that makes me sad, yo. That makes me so sad that that happened. We were doing decently. We were doing fine, and then... Uh, okay. But, nonetheless, we have to get... Oh, that actually happened? During that cutscene? No, it's strange. Uh, move on. Uh, get out. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Let's see if they're uh, if the Hepburn Hive missions are. There's a race there. I did it once. I managed to do it in one go. Of course, we have no evidence of that. Uh, but that was a tricky one. Holy shit! But we managed it, so we should be able to do it again, right? Just like this one. We managed the first time. And now, of course, we're strong. Ring ring? No ring ring. Shit. No, no, no. That's, that wasn't good. Can I get out? Does it spray anything? If I get out? Dude, I'm completely... I'm, I'm knocked off my socks. I don't know what to do. Do we do the, the mission again? Yes, let's do it again. Let's just fucking do it again. Because, dude, that sucked, man. I fucking hate that. Just randomly pull over by a cop who gets... Oh, no, no, we're not driving this car. Holy shit, what a piece of junk. We're not, we're not doing that. No way. I'd rather drive this... this manana, manana. Got decent handling. Oh shit! Better handling than I thought, actually. Man, bummed out about that. Like, seriously. We'll get over it. I'll get over it after we beat the mission. Okay, so uh, let's try that again. Hello. Damn it! Stupid random cops just appearing out of nowhere. Okay, um, hey, now this may be a good thing to get. A big old van, big, big fat Yankee Doodle truck. Let's do it. This should have some more ramming power, I think. The best would be like a bus. Oh my goodness, we could get a bus. There's a bus station here somewhere. Looking for it, but this may work. This thing is heavy. We can crash into that van and uh, do some real fucking damage. I think. <coughs> oh snap! That did some. That did some serious damage. Look at that. That's the way we want to do it. Okay. All right. Jesus, get out of my way. No, no, no. We're not getting out of your way. Okay. Oh, okay. Is he? Is he messing himself up? Okay. The cops are on me, which is fine. But we just need to. Okay, leave it there. We're gonna leave it there because what we need to do right now is get out. First of all, get out, and there has to be something. There has to be a way for us to reduce the. Um, where are these things? I can never remember where they are, which is a stupid thing. Because honestly, they are the most important things ever. Look at them blasting. Yeah, okay, that's one. That's fine. It's, it's, if we can get them to one star, we'll be fine. We can probably dodge these bullets like you know. Imagine someone running away from the cop like this, just dodging bullets. Hee like, hee! You can't catch me, copper! Okay, they stop using their weapons. Good. And then it's just a sprinting match. Um, let's cut them over here. Careful not to get knocked down. At some point, they have to stop. They'll stop chasing me. Uh, but I may have to do some sprinting for that. Cut corners, make sure they don't see me. There's probably a cop still on my ass, isn't there? No. Okay, fine. Good. Oh, that's a 
Yes, okay, good. We, we lost him. That made no sense. The truck should still be there. Um, I sure hope. Uh, the only thing that, that can happen now is, you know, we accidentally bump into a cop, uh, we get killed. Um, I, I, I feel to resist the urge to punch someone in the face and then, you know, trigger an entire war with the triads. There's plenty of stuff that can still happen here, but uh, as long as we keep it, keep keep our cool and our, you know, hey, that's nice. Keep ourselves dedicated to finishing this mission, we should be just fine. A group of sex. A group of sex, it says. That's, uh, that's good. Um, we're good. Don't, don't turn right there. Okay, here we go. Man, this thing is heavy. You can feel it. It's just, it's very heavy. Okay. Sucked once, it sucked twice, but it's definitely gonna suck super bad the third time. Okay, okay, we're good. Open up the door. Okay, that's fine. It's about the contents, not the vehicle itself. Back out. Oh my god, we got it. We did it. We did it. We're rich. Why don't we just stop working now? We, we look at the look at the money we have. You could do a little something with that. El Budo, El Budo wants to offer you an opportunity. Right. So El Budo is the guy that uh, that I was referencing to. Was that a stunt jump? That's a stunt jump. Aburo was the guy who uh, calls you at Hepburn Heights, I think. And he's got a race for us. Whoa! Look at this. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> well that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's fine. That's okay. Wasted. Well, it wasn't really wasted. We, we did a cool trick. Okay, fine. Um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Um, that'll be it for today. And uh, oh, shut up. And uh, we'll come back and we'll try and do some uh, Oburo missions. They're pretty tough. I've, I've done them, and uh, they're they're rough for me. They were hard, so it'll be enjoyable for you guys. A lot of dick ripping going on there, probably. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. I'll go ahead and save right here. Make sure everything goes well in the background with the voice, the sound, and all that. And uh, we'll come back later. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye.